Hey there, it's so nice to see you here. Were you thinking about starting to learn to paint with watercolors or painting in general to relax and to unwind? But you keep thinking that you probably need a lot of time to actually paint anything. Now, let me tell you, it's not the case at all. You can actually paint a lot more while spending less time on that than you might think. One of the first mental blocks you might have is that you see a big sheet of watercolor paper and you feel just overwhelmed. You might think, how on earth are you supposed to fill up all this space? You don't have time for that. Now, the good news is that you don't have to. There's something I've been using for ages, but I think that's still something that everyone thinks about. And that's the magic of just dividing the paper into smaller sections. You can either use a pencil or what I prefer is using washi tape. So you can add the tape around the edges and create a grid so then you have multiple paintings with a nice frame around it. All right, now that we divided the paper into smaller sections, it's a lot easier to fill up this quickly while creating multiple paintings, right? The second mental block you might have is that you don't know what to paint. When you're just starting out and you just want to learn how to paint with watercolors, you don't want to feel pressured to burst with ideas when you just want to learn how to paint, right? And I think this is something that holds a lot of people back from getting into a new hobby because they feel like they need to be super creative and have a ton of ideas before they even start. Now, I want to take this off of your plate and really give you the permission to just focus on learning the basic watercolor techniques you'll need. So you might ask yourself, so how are you supposed to learn these techniques without any idea? The good news is that the internet is full of ideas that will help you get started. You can use websites that provide royalty-free pictures that you can use as a reference. You can either browse through random photographs and maybe something sparks new ideas. And maybe you'll remember how you like sunsets and would love to be able to paint them. Which brings me to the next mental block you might have. And that's you just don't know how and where to start. And because of that, it might feel really overwhelming and really complicated to you. And I totally get that. Sometimes we look at something that is unfamiliar to us and it looks really difficult, but the more small steps we take, learn and practice, the easier it actually gets. And this is also goes for watercolor painting, in my opinion. You want to start simple. In the sunset example, you don't want to get lost in all the details in the picture you're seeing. You rather want to pay attention to the big picture and that's the sky and its colors and also can help you to really simplify the colors you're using as well. So instead of creating a full on colorful sunset, why not starting with just yellows and oranges and add additional colors as you practice using different sections that you created for yourself. I think if you start with similar colors like yellow and orange, it's less likely that you will create muddy colors. So you can just focus on the paint application and play around with where you place the color. I love painting sunsets because it allows me to just relax and let the paint do its magic. I don't have to paint anything super realistically, I just focus on colors and abstract results that will eventually make the whole painting come together. And because you divided the paper into smaller sections, you can quickly fill them up with paint. So when you're done with the first section, you can move on to the next one and paint something else while it's drying. Here I moved from just yellow and light orange to more saturated orange and then I even added reds and browns to make everything darker and warmer. And again, because these colors are pretty close to each other on the color wheel, you don't really have to worry about creating muddy colors. And while the second painting is drying, you can move on to the third square and add more colors to practice. Now with sunsets, especially when there are multiple colors, it's easy to create muddy mixtures if you're not careful. So you always want to make sure you place colors next to each other that are actually close to each other on the color wheel. If you need help with watercolor mixing, you can download my free guide on color mixing that will help you for sure. You can find the link in the description box down below. Another great way to speed up the painting process is to use a hair dryer. I know some of you aren't patient with watercolors because you don't want to wait for it to dry for ages. So when you're done with the first layer, you can use your hair dryer and speed up the drying process. 
I use this trick all the time. Now, another reason you might be hesitant with starting to paint with watercolors is that you feel like you don't know how to draw. But the truth is, even if you know how to draw, you would still need to learn how to paint. And it's not always totally necessary to be able to draw. As you can see in my examples here, I don't use a pencil to outline anything. I only focus on simple shapes, I create wavy lines, color the shapes and just step on the brush to create trees. I really love working this way because I can just focus on the right color scheme and just relax while creating simple shapes without worrying about any details that will take me hours to create. You might also feel like you have to paint a certain way or you're worried about what others will think of your painting, but what really matters is whether or not you're enjoying it. If you're too stressed out or you don't like to paint realistically, you can totally try out this style where you just let the paint and the brush do their thing by leading the way. Now, this was just one of the ways how you can start. Remember, even though you might see different watercolor paintings and artists painting different things that look really complicated, they all start with one layer of paint and then they build up the painting layer by layer. As I said earlier, don't feel like you have to paint something specific or a certain way just because you see this on social media. There are a ton of different things you can paint and make look unique just by using your favorite colors. It's just a matter of what you like. If you rather prefer more abstract and easy on the eye paintings to look at yourself, why not exploring this type of style when painting with watercolors? Watercolor painting is all about letting go and having fun while exploring all the possibilities it has to offer. And you can totally do that. You just need to allow yourself to just dive in and enjoy the process. And since we are at the end of this year, you might set some goals for yourself. Maybe finally to take the leap and to learn how to paint with watercolors could be your new year's resolution. I really hope this video was helpful. Thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful day and a happy new year. I'll see you soon in my next video and next year. Bye.